CBS 46 is fighting for our vets service dogs. How can you tell the real ones from the fakes? Well, state lawmakers are trying to crack down on people using those fake dogs. But some of the questions concern veterans who want to make sure their disabilities are not exposed in that vetting process. CBS 46's Haley Mason is live with both sides of the debate. Haley. Yes, lawmakers say that the growing number of fake service dogs is posing a dangerous problem in Georgia. The service dog definition by the ADA is that it is a dog individually trained to perform tasks or do work for people with disabilities. But so far that that law needs to be tightened in Georgia, lawmakers say. She's been assigned to a person already. Blake Rashad has trained service dogs for decades and has traveled all over the country to do it. He says he's following Georgia's upcoming service dog legislation, hoping it cracks down on fake dogs. Fake dogs are a, a issue, and I see them out there all the time. And I, I think that they hurt the person with the with a disability. Rashad service dog Ziggy has helped him through constant depression. He says veterans like himself would benefit from better regulations. And I suffer from depression and uh, dogs have saved my life. State Senator Renee Unterman is sponsoring the upcoming service dog legislation to crack down on fakes. A bipartisan Senate study committee just wrapped its last meeting and is now finalizing its list of recommendations to tighten regulations on service dogs in Georgia. And there's a lot of fraud that's going on, and that's what we're trying to protect people who truly have disabilities. The committee first wants to get Georgia's definition of a service animal in line with the ADAs and possibly criminalize fraudulent claims of service animals. But one area that's raising concern is the idea of possibly explaining your disability to prove the need for a dog. Senator Unterman says the Fair Housing Act allows those questions to some degree. If you really have a disability, you are going to a medical provider and you can show that you, you know, you've, you've had appointments, you have medication. It's a slippery slope, though, for some veterans. Look. With the American Disability Act, you know, I don't have to tell you if I have a disability or not. And, you know, even the fact of making somebody say, hey, you need to prove your disability. In the veteran population, it's so hard to get people just to talk about or acknowledge the fact that they have a disability. Now, veterans say they want the questions to really fall on the quality of training to show that the service dog is actually a credible service dog, not on the person explaining a disability to prove that. Senator Underman tells me the committee will submit its recommendations on December 31st, and they will move forward with possibly forming more legislation on this in the General Assembly in January. Reporting live at the Capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.